Hey everybody, I wanted to, <laughs> if I could spit it out, I want to share a special gift that I made for for Mason. Uh, tomorrow is his ninth birthday, so I can't wait to present this to him. So Mason, one day when you're watching this, I just want to let you know how much I truly love you from the bottom of my heart. And this is uh, something that I hope that you cherish forever. So I want to share uh, how this all came about and I guess the one popular uh, mount now is like a pack mount. This is something similar to that, but with my own, I guess, <laughs> variables of what I threw in there. So basically the, the frame is made out of an old dilapidated tree stand that is on the property that we hunt. And of course you can't hunt out of it anymore. So decided to, to get those pieces of wood and, and John, or he uh, he cut them to the dimensions that I asked him to get them cut to and help me assemble it. And so um, on the back part, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a little bit of fencing. That's uh, some, some boundary line up there that's just laying around uh, that we see every time. And sometimes we actually trip over it walking through, uh, walking through the woods. So that's something that I think we can relate to, we being me, Mason, and Ethan. So um, the other part that I thought was pretty neat is the palmation on this, uh, on the shed. That shed was as wide as it could be when I found it and I watched a YouTube channel of how to get it back to uh, some of the original color. And I think I did pretty good uh, considering it was the first time that I'd ever tried to do that. The other thing is, um, of course the antlers that got those that was a lot harder than what i ever anticipated i know my dad used to do a lot of taxidermy and lord have mercy i have a whole new respect for stan and chris mccarver and uh josh tyree some of those guys that i know that that do <laughs> do mounts it's hard just to get the skin off of them but anyway the uh, back to this the uh that's the first time we ever went hunting and as you can see, I'm wearing the suspenders and the, the pants. There are the pants right there. Those were my dad's, uh, actually. I almost forgot that. The suspenders, that was his whole outfit. And I always considered it my lucky, lucky hunting outfit. Um, I've killed a bunch of stuff wearing that. And it's just the, the memories and the, the time spent in the woods that, that mean more than, than killing anything. But the... Um, but that's the suspenders. Um, there's, uh, dad had an extra, extra clip and they hold five bull or four bullets and, um, or cartridges or whatever you want to call it. But anyway, I don't know why he had an extra one because honestly, I, I, you may can shoot two, maybe three times, uh, but I don't know of anybody that's ever shot 10 or had a chance to even put another cartridge in there. I think it just been, must have been something that they did way back in the day, but um that was our the day that mason killed his deer and you can see where he shot it it was a perfect shot and he shot it from a 30 out six really good he was scared to death to shoot he was scared to death to shoot that 30 out six but he came through like a trooper but um but anyway that's it the i hope it's something that he will forever cherish i know uh, special special memory special day um spent in the woods and a lot of stuff that we see every time we go up there it's not all about harvesting the deer it was spending the time uh, when he was that little and um i have a <laughs> it's a funny some funny pictures of uh i call stages of the hunt he carried his little red rider bb gun up there and he was all excited for about an hour and then next thing i know i looked over and he had his toboggan pulled over his head and and then next thing I know, he was sound asleep. So that was the stages of the hunt when he was a little kid. And um, but we hit, we made it fun. That's what it's all about. But he was able to harvest that deer, and I hope that he enjoys what I did. So, but I just wanted to share this with everybody, and uh, thank y'all for watching. Take care.